Hey guys, so it is, I just want to say like so hot in Virginia right now, like the humidity is crazy. I feel like I'm about to like full on sweat to death. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm actually just sitting in my car right now because I mentioned previously that I was going to do a video for you guys at um, the local antique mall. So we are here at the largest antique mall in America. So inside, when you walk in, of course, there are the registers and past that, it becomes an actual just labyrinth of, you know, all kinds of antique furniture and tons of books. It, it's like a miniature library in some areas. Um, but when we do get to the dolls, like you will notice a lot of them are Barbie, um, especially like holiday Barbie. I think a lot of people bought holiday Barbies in particular because they thought they'd be more collectible. Um, but I guess like, I don't know, some of them might be worth much. I don't know a lot about Barbie. I do know that I see a lot of strange things here. And I do see a lot of Barbies that I'd love to, like if I had the money just to buy them up so I could take their clothes, I probably would. Um, cause especially like some of these Barbies, like look how gorgeous she is with her red ringlets. I would definitely buy her and use her clothes on one of my regular cute dolls. I've never been a huge Barbie stan just because like her head and feet are so small and for the longest she really wasn't very articulated and that's something I very much look for in a doll, especially being an ex Pulip and BJD collector. But I will say, back in the day, Barbie dolls came with really beautiful imaginative clothes. I mean, this is like amazing and Avon dolls, I don't even know, like the last time I saw an Avon catalog. so. You can tell these are kind of old, um, but I mean, so am I, so it's okay. <laughs> so a lot of these booths also have stuff like action figures, pop figures. Not everything is old. I do see like newer stuff in here sometimes, but admittedly, most of the Barbies I see or Bratz dolls, my scene obviously, is usually from the 80s up to like the early 2000s. Um, they've definitely had a couple of Bratz dolls in here where I was like, if, and at, Bratz are another doll that I really don't collect because like the feet, the feet popping off is weird for me, but I do think their faces are really beautiful. Just the lack of articulation and the pop off feet don't do it for me, but I love their clothes and you see Disney dolls here sometimes. Again, I don't collect Disney dolls, but I still think they're really beautiful. These ones are all just bigger than what I'd have room for. But can you guys remember when Barbie had such imaginative clothes? Clothes that were real textures and fabrics and not just single-sided prints on cheap, thin fabric? Uh, that was a thing. There was a golden age to Barbie. I will say, you will see dolls like the Pamela Anderson doll right there. And there's a Britney doll later for Britney Spears. I don't think if I were a celebrity that I would want to be immortalized as a Barbie doll. Because I have to admit... Mattel has done some celebrities pretty dirty. Like, these dolls usually don't always look like who they're supposed to be. So, as you can see, like, there are all sorts of Barbies. There are all sorts of dolls in general. Um, this Bratz Jade is one that I've been, like, eyeballing for a while. I've debated a couple of times on whether or not to get her, but I can't really bring myself to, like, commit. I think just because, like, I don't collect Bratz and... I don't know, maybe I could rebody her. Cause I've seen some people do them on OMG bodies and I don't know if that's like blasphemy or not, but like they look pretty cute. I think I'd much rather her be articulated. The Princess Diana Barbie is really pretty. And this, um, I guess it's like the Lynn, I think. I can't ever remember which of the Tokyo brats are which, but she's really cute. I used to have one and I don't remember, like I guess I sold it off like forever ago, but I really wish I hadn't because that kimono looked good on a variety of other dolls, including Pulips. I used to buy, like I mostly buy clothes. I admittedly am a clothing hoarder. I actually bought those overalls that you saw a while ago with the checked straps, but um, I used to buy a lot of Bratz dolls and Barbie dolls and get their clothes for my Pulips because it was inexpensive clothes for Pulips. And then I would sell the, like the nude dolls or donate them to like, whatever, friends with kids, whatnot. Um, but yeah, I actually, coming up, you'll see one of the Mycene dolls that I've debated on buying, but her tag says that she was like $10 with a wedding dress and somebody stripped her dress off. And the sellers, like, the sellers aren't with their booths. So, like, you really can't 
like ask them to reduce a price or change anything um, unless you go up front with the item have them call the seller sometimes the seller will make a deal sight unseen i'm sorry that troll was just too weird not to include in this video um but most of the time they're like well you know they don't want to change the price if they don't 100 percent know what you're talking about now this booth in particular is one of my favorites because they have a lot of individual clothing um and the clothing's like a dollar that in sync shirt i've debated on i didn't even like in sync because i'm kind of a metalhead or at least i was back then now it's all emo rap but i have debated on buying that shirt just for nostalgia they do sell a lot of um like gi joe and action figures at this booth and does anybody know what this guy is i don't recognize him from anything but yeah the great thing about gi joe is that they have boots that fit other male dolls. So like Ta Yang, Namu, Ever After High, and Monster High Boys. I haven't tried them on River, but I did just buy a couple of new sets. I debated buying some of these brats because I do love their faces, um, but it would just be very expensive to rebody all the ones I think are cute. I don't know their names or anything about them though. And that's kind of a thing. I guess I could try to learn, but I feel like Bratz has kind of a massive history to sit down and take in. So like I said, this place is kind of a labyrinth. You'll see a lot of booths with all different kinds of stuff. Um, antique furniture, comic books, records. Um, and dolls are always kind of hidden in different places. Sometimes they'll be obvious like the box dolls. And other times you'll just find like piles of different dolls. And they'll have a lot of vintage stuff. Like I said, I mean, they have a lot of baby dolls and older stuff. Barbies tend to stick with like 80s, 90s, early 2000s though. But you will see a lot of really strange things. Now this booth in particular, I really want this gym doll, but I remember having some old gym dolls and finding shoes that fit them was really hard. I don't know if that's still a thing because I feel like Rainbow High has some pretty big feet, so maybe they would fit. Um, I might have like go back and get her one day. I don't know. Like she's really pretty though. And Flavas, I don't know if you guys remember Flavas, but they were very popular in the early 2000s. That particular one I've debated on buying a couple of times just because she was the first one I ever had back when I did have them. Again, I kind of collected them for their clothes, but my kids loved playing with them. Like, the boys loved Flavas dolls. Um, so I kind of thought about getting her for the nostalgia too. So when you're walking through this place, like you have to be really careful because some booths are really like filled and trying to like turn sideways and maneuver in without knocking stuff over. Um, and I don't know like if this is a doll collector thing. I know I love collecting anime figures as well. They have booths here that just sell like tons of cool anime stuff and that have like different figures and like manga and I don't know like all kinds of stuff and it changes all the time. Like they have jewelry, they have a lot of Pokemon stuff if you're like a Pokemon fanatic. Um, I haven't gotten Pokemon Snap yet. I think that's what it's called, the new one with the where you take pictures or whatever. But I think that's really cute. Honestly, I spend all my time playing Animal Crossing. So I don't know if I'd have time for anything else. <laughs> Sorry, that's silly. But but yeah, I, so I love coming here and looking at anime figures. They do at this booth sell stuff really, really cheap. Almost hardly for anything more than what they buy it for. Now you'll find a lot of dolls just randomly sitting in different booths. So you kind of have to really pay attention and look around. Not everything is big, obvious boxes. Most of it is, though. But like I said, in, as long as I've been going here, I can't say that I've seen every single booth. Like, it's just, it's so much to take in. I tend to kind of, for the most part, stick to the booths where I really know where everything is. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw that Rose Petal play still, but I used to have those too as a kid. Um, but yeah, so I tend to stick to the booths that I kind of know. They have stuff I want, they have doll stuff, whatever. Um, and then like once every couple of months, like, cause they don't have a super high turnover rate. A lot of the booths that are here have been here as long as I've been going here. A lot of the times when I shop here now, it's as a buyer for other people. So like I'll come here and buy stuff for clients and then ship it to them. All right guys. So that wasn't even like, I don't know, like a fifth of that place. like not even like a 0.5 
the place is massive so I kind of just went to the booths where I already knew there were dolls um just so that I could uh like because I couldn't be in there forever like I do have to still get home and make dinner before Bear gets home stuff like that but I just kind of wanted to show you guys around honestly the place is like a giant maze and it has a lot of the booths that you would expect there's booths full of old records and vintage clothing and military paraphernalia and um just like massive wooden cabinetry and all this vintage furniture so it's a really really gorgeous place it's really really huge like i think i've been coming here for i think i started the year before that bear and i got together so like since like 2016 maybe um and i don't think i've ever ever seen everything in here i don't think i've ever seen all of the booths um and they change pretty regularly and of course as you'll see like they're definitely like, um, or as you've seen, there's definitely some different stuff. Like there is the you know, booths full of anime stuff and just, just primitives and all these, I don't know if anybody else knows what primitives is, but in Virginia, it's like country looking stuff. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, click bells for notifications and all of that. And I will see you guys next week. And hopefully, yeah. Hopefully by then we'll get that package because that big package full of dolls is still stuck in Richmond. It's been 10 days, I think now, nine or 10 days since it's updated at all. Um, my postmaster just told me that he, that he was missing um, some shoes and they're actually stuck in that same distribution center for 28 days. He's the postmaster and he can't even get his mail on time. So, I mean, I feel like a little better about it, I guess. Like if it has to be late, at least I'm in good company. But uh, yeah, hopefully they'll come. We'll be able to die stuff soon. Until then, enjoy this video. A lot of it is stuff you saw in pictures on Instagram, but there is some new stuff. And uh, I'll try to figure out some content for next week. Bye guys.